class is now open. Hey, I'm getting ready to paint the edge of the doors, okay? And I'm gonna just use this, my little mini roller. I'm not gonna have my extension pole on. I don't have any paint on here. This is just a dry run. And when I, when I put the paint on here, I don't wanna put it on so thick and press so hard on this where it's gonna build up an edge on the face of the door here and on the back side of the door. Do you see what I mean? And that's another reason why I use quarter inch nap roller instead of like a three eighths nap roller. Can you see if I use a three eighths or half inch? As I'm, as I'm going like this, as you're pressing in the back side of the roller on this edge that's full of paint is gonna get on the edge of the door and moved over this way, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so, okay? And, and so once, once I start painting this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint up like here. I'll get you back here a little bit further so, so you can see kind of what I'm going to do. Because see, I got the door just laid up against the wall like that, up off the ground at the bottom. And as I'm painting this, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get my hand up here and I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna pull this away like that so I can do this from about eye level or so, or maybe a little lower. And then I'm gonna do this on the side here, get it nice, okay? Maybe, maybe down to about like that. And then I'm gonna take the same roller and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe off on the back like that, on the edge, on the edge of this. And I'm gonna do that on the front of it too. That way if there is any little build up there, this is gonna wipe it off, do you see? Like that, after I get the front done. Then I can set the door back down carefully like that. And then I can do the rest. And as I'm doing the rest, see then I can take the back and I can, and I can roll it up this way. See, I can only roll it up so far before I hit this wall. So when I do this edge from the top down, I'll probably go down maybe to the to the uh, door latch, let's say. Okay. Like that. Roll it on the back. Roll it on the front carefully, like that. Then, then I can I can get a little bit more paint on my on my roller. Okay. And then I can do from here on down. You know, like that. And that's why I got it up off of the craft paper with my screws. And then I can take the back side of this and um, I, can, I can roll it on the front like that or I can take it on the back like this, see? And just carefully hit that edge. Kind of, kind of at, not a 45, maybe a 30 degree angle so that if there is any buildup on the back side, I'm gonna get it, okay? And then I'm going to hit this edge. If you don't do that, you, you look at some of your doors at your house, you might see a build-up ridge of paint along here if somebody has, has repainted these doors uh, one or two times. And you'll see, you'll say, son of a gun, there is a build-up there. And then if you get ready to paint your doors, you don't want to leave that build-up. You then want to sand that off with your paddle sander like a... Like, like I have, and get rid of that. That's why, that's why these edges, I had to paint these edges with the paintbrush because they were, they were, I had sanded them all the way down to the wood. And the reason why I sanded them all the way down to the wood is because all of the edges on this door were built up because somebody had painted this door before and they left that edge because they probably went like that and then they just left it and walked away. Or they did this, and then it dried and then they painted the face and then that edge was still there all the way down. So see, as I'm, as I'm putting it on, I don't want to put it on so thick and whoosh, like this and get it on there. That's going to build my edge up even more. That's why I'm going to take a light touch, you know, nice and easy, but get a full body paint on there. And then I can gently get those, get those edges the best that I can. Do you see what I mean? And that's why I'm not going to hold it like that. I'm just going to take it like that and run it down like that. All the way down. Before 
before I paint the, the front. When I get ready to paint this front, of course I'm going to put my extension pole on. You know, don't, don't just paint your whole door just like this, okay? You're going to be bending back and forth, up and down off of this. You're going to get paint. It's going to fly up on, on here. And it's so much easier to take your paint roller, extension, just a broom handle. Now I can stand there, I can dip in with my paint, I can do the front. Get that like I showed you before. And you'll, trust me, you'll get good at it the more you use your paint roller. Okay? And uh, I don't know, uh, you know, watch that, watch the previous video where I showed how to install your, the paint with the paint roller on a door like this and how I paint it on there. Trust me, it comes out, it comes out really good. And if you think, hey, fooey on a four inch roller, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use a six inch roller. Well, that's all fine and dandy. If you want to use a six inch roller, you could, you could probably get this whole section all in one go, go. But, but you're going to probably miss a little bit and then you're still going to have to do two passes on it. And, and when you're using this four inch roller, trust me, it actually goes you know, pretty good. I've got, I've got really good control with this four inch roller and I, I don't know, it just works out really good. I, I've not tried it with the six inch roller. I do have a six inch uh, mini roller, but I don't, you know, normally when I get those, it's for painting walls and stuff. And I very seldom get a six uh, quarter inch nap roller for, for a six inch uh, mini roller. Uh, like if I'm doing ceilings and walls, I'll get a six inch mini roller that's got three quarter inch nap. See here, here we go. See here, this one's actually a six and a half by three quarter inch nap. There's no way, it, there's no way under this green earth that I would use something like this on a door. Okay, first off, it's it's too thick. You're going to get too much paint on there. It's going to be hard to get nice even on there. And you're, you're going to put more texture on that door than you would a quarter inch nap roller. You see what I mean? So this three, this three quarter inch I would use, I would use for walls and ceilings that have uh, spray texture knocked down on the wall and stuff. Kind of, kind of like, here I'll show you, show you. Uh, this the garage. I haven't painted it yet. But see all the texture on there. This is called spray texture knockdown because they sprayed on there and then as it was drying they knocked it down uh, with a, a wide broad knife knife and then they probably sanded it and then that gives you that gives you the flat bit on the top and it kind of cleans it up too. Okay. And so that's when I would use the three quarter inch nap. And in fact, they have they have rollers up to an inch and a quarter. And see, I've got a big I've got a big one for 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 walls and stuff. See this one here? Look, inch and a quarter nap. And that's for my nine inch roller cover. I use that for walls. I don't believe it or not. I don't use anything like that for ceilings anymore. Usually, uh, for my ceilings, I go with my six inch roller. And I can do that all day long above my head, not spilling hardly, and, and it's easier to work my, my extension poles and stuff because the frame isn't as heavy. And the, when you get this full of paint and you get it up over your head and you get it on a high extension roller, uh, uh, extension pole, and you try to go back and forth, try it. Tell me how you like it. Then try using a six inch. Oh man, I can, I can use 6 inch. In fact, I did 6 inch. I used a 6 inch mini roller, the 3 quarter inch snap roller for all of the ceilings in the condo. All of them. And even, even way up high. Look, look how high this, this ceiling is up here. Way up there. All of that, way up there, I did with the 6 inch mini roller. Came out looking primo too. And um, same thing in this little bedroom. Six inch mini roller, baby. Six inch mini roller. It's the way to go for ceilings. 
And look how high this ceiling is. You know, it, it goes, it goes, that's about 10 feet. This is about 15 feet or so, way up there. And the ceiling was a different color from before and I had to put uh, two coats of white uh, paint up there, ceiling flat paint I used uh, to cover because it wasn't covering in one coat. If it was already white and I was using a, another white to clean it up, I probably could have gone with just one coat, but all of these ceilings, um, I went ahead and put two coats. In fact, this one, this this little section here, I did the same color as the as the walls because it's going up the the uh, the wall. You know, right there, just that little section. And I made it the same color as the walls, and the walls were a uh, an eggshell finish. So this that section is eggshell. This section is flat up here. But then, then in the bathrooms, I used semi gloss. I used semi gloss paint. Uh, up here at the top to make it shiny and to make it so that the light bounces off a little bit better than had it had, it, had I not had uh, semi gloss paint up there. If I if I did the flat paint, I could have gotten away in this bathroom um, to do the flat paint uh, on the ceiling because there's no shower in here and there's no hot steam. But in the bathrooms upstairs, yes, I'm going to go with the uh, semi gloss ceilings. Okay, but. Um, the, this this video really this little segment clip really wasn't about how to paint ceilings and walls but see you just got an insight of why you need to watch why you need to watch the entire video every time I make something like I say I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to say next you know what I mean and uh, so it, I'm just saying if you want to learn how to do things I this channel is what you need because it's for beginners, intermediates, and even slightly moderate advanced on certain things. And I go through more detail than most people, I think. And, but I figure the more I talk, the more you learn. Some people think the more I talk, the more it puts them to sleep. But hey, my videos aren't for everybody, okay? But if you want to learn how to save money around your house, my videos are for you. Go and just check it out. You can go to my main YouTube channel page and click on playlists. Then you can scroll through the many, many topics that I have, the many playlists. I got over 50 playlists on my YouTube channel. It shows you how to do all kinds of stuff around the house, okay? To save, to save you money. Hey, I'm not Joe Blow the electrician or Joe Blow the painter or Joe Blow the plumber. But by golly, the things that I do, I could show you how to do certain, certain things and honeydew lists and certain repairs around your house that maybe you wouldn't even have thought you could do. But you watch my videos and say, hey, this guy, he's not, he's not really a professional at anything. But when he gets done, it seems like he always gets whatever he's doing fixed, repaired, or, or painted good or whatever it is that he's doing it it seems sometimes sometimes i may do certain things unorthodox and um uh, you know sometimes i'll do painting where maybe a professional painter may say ah he doesn't know what he's talking about but son of a gun when i get done with my with my painting project it looks you wouldn't know what, that an average joe did the painting for the doors, the frames, the baseboards, the ceilings, the window stools, all that kind of stuff. You, you wouldn't even know that, that I wasn't a professional painter or, the, or caulking that I do. And same thing with my sheetrock drywall repairs. You know, I do more coats and I explain more and I, I may do things a little bit different than a sheetrocker, but son of a gun, when I get done with my, with my patches, they look really good. And I've got all those videos on my channel too, okay? So enough of that. I'm about ready to start painting this door. Stick around for more tips and more savings. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. I guess it's time to do some more painting. <laughs>